In this example, we'll be using an atomization schedule to uh, demonstrate a while loop. And so um, we're going to start with some assumptions. And so the first assumption is that the business we're working with requires a 10% down payment and an annual interest rate of 12%. Also, the monthly payments are 5% of the listed purchase price. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in, my, in, this, in the description real quick, and then uh, I'll come back. What we will be doing is we're going to write a program that takes the purchase price as an input and then we're going to display a table with of course all the, the headers that's going to show the payment schedule for the lifetime of the loan. And so the table is going to contain the, uh, the number of months, the current total balance that's owed, the interest owed for the month, and the amount of principal owed for that month. We're also going to display the payment for the month and the balance remaining after the payment. So one other thing that we'll need to know is that the amount of interest for a month is equal to the balance times the rate divided by 12. So just a simple little thing and I'll throw that all in my calculations. The amount of the principal for a month is equal to the monthly payment minus the interest owed. And uh, those are just simple uh, assumptions that uh, would be uh, included in any loan. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coding. And the first thing I need to do is I need to set up my variables. So I have quite a few variables that I need to I need to declare and to initialize. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll explain them. So you can see I added the declare and initialized variables. PP uh, stands for the purchase price. The DP stands for down payment. And the AIR is going to be the annual interest rate. MP is for the monthly payment. M is for month, that's just one, uh, the number of months that are uh, that will be making these payments. So it could be if we're, it's a, let's say a 12 month loan, that it'd be one through 12. The SB is the starting balance. That's gonna be, you know, whatever the balance was when the loan started. ITP is interest rate, interest to pay, and PTP is principal to pay. Now I commented those two out because they're not, uh, they're not actually used right away. They're used a little bit later in the code. But um, I wanted you to know what uh, in the variables I wanted them to to uh, to have the uh, to be defined so that that way you could understand uh, what ITP was and what PTP was. So mostly just for uh, the, the user information is the only reason that I listed them here. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to display the headers for the table. Again, that's a lot of typing, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. Okay, so. What I did was I um, wrote this code here, and what it does is it, it displays, of course I misspelled that. It displays the headers for the table. Now this first line here that I commented out, I'm not gonna use this, I just put this up here so you could see how to do this. This is using that percent symbol that uh, you saw earlier for um, how, to, uh, how to format your, your headers. And so if we were to use, if I was to uncomment this and use this line here, what would happen is all of these numbers would be, um, would be uh, aligned to the left. And, the, and so the number here, what you see here is it's, it's uh, the number of characters. So this one's five, I used 18 here. They don't have to be exact, but you wanna be, you want these numbers to be either exactly what your header is or a little bit more um, I, I, I just estimated mine. And so that's what this means here, is that it, we're going to align to the left. Now what I actually used, I used a different uh, syntax, and I used uh, this syntax here. And what this one here means is that it's going to format um, month and starting balance centered. So you'll notice that the, uh, the number of characters are still the same, 5, 18, 9, 18. But uh, using this, uh, this symbol here, the caret symbol, I'm able to to line them up in the middle of the uh, of of the column versus uh, lining to the left, and I and I like that idea better. So uh, that's how you do it. You uh, enter this here with a single quotation, then you say dot format, and then you actually list the headers of uh, of the of the columns. And so you can see that I listed these headers, and these are all the things that we're going to want to calculate and display properly. And uh, and then that's really it. Now the number of uh, of this formatting has to match the number of columns here. It's not going to work.
So you'll notice we don't use commas in this part here. It's just the brackets define the, the uh, columns. On this side, we do use a, a comma to separate the, the columns that are going to be used. And we use single quotes to say what's going to be in there for our strings. Okay, so that is that part. And the next thing we're going to do is we need to do our, our calculator, our, our atomization schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do a part of that. Okay, so what I did was I said, okay, we're going to start here with our uh, while the, the while loop. We're going to use a while loop. And we're going to calculate through this while loop, and we're going to say the while loop is going to work until the starting balance is, uh, as long as, I'm sorry, it's going to continue as long as the, um, the, what I call the starting balance is greater than zero. Of course, we're going to adjust that starting balance as we iterate through the loop. Um, we're not quite there yet, but I want to explain this part, this uh, little bit of this math. So the monthly payment uh, is simply uh, all we're doing is, is iterating is adding one. So m is just incrementing by one. So it's it's basically one, two, three, four as the months pass. Not a big deal. Now the uh, the uh, interest payment is simply the starting balance times the interest rate divided by twelve. So just basically the formula for for that for interest rate. The uh, principal to pay is the monthly payment minus the interest payment. Okay, so that's that's pretty simple. And then the ending balance is simply the starting balance minus the payment to pay, which makes sense. And so that's what, what this part here means. Now, I had to write a little if statement here to handle the last payment. Uh, so if the starting balance is less than or equal to the monthly payment, so we're, we're basically at the last payment. Then what's going to happen is the payment, uh, the principal to pay is going to be equal to the starting balance. The interest to pay is zero because it's paid off. And the, the uh, monthly payment is equal to the, also to the uh, starting payment. And the end balance is zero. So it all makes sense. And then we're going to iterate through. Now this, this situation here only happens if the starting balance is less than or equal to the monthly payment. Other than that, we never get to the, this point here. Okay, and that's that's really it. It's really uh, that simple. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to print the. Uh, we actually need to print out the um, format and print out our results so that we can have our our ending table. Now this part's not going to be in scope with the if statement. This is going to be in scope with the while loop. So we're gonna. I'm going to go ahead and put that piece here again. It's a lot of typing, so I'll be right. Okay. So now what I did is I put in the formatting. Now you'll notice this part right here is identical to, uh, almost identical, I'm sorry, to what we did up here. We have to have the same number of columns, but there's one thing different that you'll notice, and that's that we're, we're telling the formatting what type of information it's going to be receiving. For example, here, this, the, uh, this formatting here, like 518, 18918, uh, centered, uh, justification centered, is for this these words here, month, starting balance, etc. Down here we're working with numbers. So here we're saying we want the same formatting because we want it to we want it to um, to match exactly the formatting of the uh, of the column header. But when we output this, we want to tell the uh, the system what we're dealing with. So for example, here we're going to be using decimal, um, I mean digits, and then here uh, we'll be using uh, floats. So floats and uh, almost, almost all floats, so percentages basically. And uh, this one is going to be a full digit, so think of it as similar to an integer. All right, and then and uh, I'll go ahead and, and go to the end so that you can see the whole code. And all this is doing is formatting our output so that uh, so that it can be output nicely. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to uh, set the starting balance to zero. Uh, and through each iteration, or I mean, I'm sorry, not zero, the starting balance to the ending balance. Otherwise, it, uh, it, it won't decrement the way that it needs to. So I'll just make a little note here to say what this is supposed to be. All right, and that's all that does. All right, so now we have everything we need, and uh, this should work. Let's go ahead and run this. So we're going to run. 
We hit F5, of course. Okay, so our little console comes up. We're going to say $200 and see what happens. And boom, we have our amortization schedule. And it's formatted exactly the way that I want it. So here we have the monthly starting balance. We have the, uh, and it's going to, you know, we have one, our incrementing one through N. So there's 23 payments. The starting balance, um, and we hit month one, we're going to owe 180 because there's a, remember, we needed a down payment of 10%. And then the interest to pay, the principal to pay, the payment amount, and then, of course, the ending balance. And uh, you scroll down through. We'll go through 23 payments. The last payment is $3.80, and uh, it's done. It's a very simple, nice little simple amortization schedule based on the information that we gave it. So I thought that was a really uh, neat little example to demonstrate uh, how to declare or initialize our variables, and especially how to format. Um, now again, this format here is for center justification. If you want to do the left justification, you'd want to use this. And um, the uh, how to calculate the schedule. Again, the while loop is while the starting balance is greater than zero. So that's handled right here over and over again until the starting balance becomes uh, equal to or less than zero. And that's it.